okay uh, hello students uh, today we will try to perform a practical on uh, how to connect two different networks uh, using a router so let's uh, first write down what we are going to perform over here so in order to write you have to go over here and let's say i'm going to select a text note and i will be writing over here to connect two networks using a router okay so here we'll be connecting two networks using a router so i will be having two different networks right so let's say in a one network i am having a three computers and in the other network i would be having three computers so let's first select the computers so you know very well you have to select the second option end devices then the pc i will bring three pcs over here so this is not new to you right here comes the second pc and here goes the third pc similarly for the second network i will select three computers okay now for each a uh, network i would be needing one switch so i will select a switch from here networking devices here in the second option switch okay so i will be selecting a switch from here so let's say i'm selecting a switch for network one and switch for network two okay so here uh, in order to differentiate the two network what i will do i will make a coloring over here i will draw a rectangle so i hope all of you would be able to see a draw a rectangle click over here draw a rectangle uh fill color select fill color select any one color so here let's say i'm selecting the orange or any color you, what you are interested in right i will go over here and i will form a network over here right a rectangular box for one network escape again for second network to differentiate i will select the other color let's say green way light green okay Okay, so I have filled color over here. Now I will select a router. So in router, networking devices router, I will click to router. I will select 2901 router over here, the third router. Right, you can select any, but it's better to select 2901. Here, drag and drop. Okay. So here I uh, place the router. The next step would be connection. We know very well how to make the connection. Automatic connections. Here, go to the switch and placed right so it's basically click at the switch take the wire till the computer and click it's so simple right again the connection over here switch click and here click right again this router and switch again switch to pc switch to pc you just have to click at the switch take the wire again click over here so this is the connection of two networks using a router right now what i will do i will do the labeling so here this is a network one this is a network two right text node so let's say this is network one with network ip address as 192.168.1.0 okay and here i need something called as a default gateway what does it mean i will let you know but the default gateway address is please remember 192.168.1 dot the first address so yaha pa jo network ip address hai wo kya hai 1.0 to so, uska first address kya hoga 1.0 0 ke baad kya hota hai 1 so it would be 1.1 right 
so this would be your default address so what is default gate name? i will let you know uh, so you are, please remember this is a network ip address 1.0 or first address yoga 1.1 woke default gateway similarly over here uh, the same thing what i will do i will copy paste for network 2 as well what changes i will make just try to understand so here instead of network 1 here i will make network 2 here ip address 1.0 ke jagah yahan par main karuga 2.0 right so 2.0 is the network ip address and uh, the gateway would be the first address which would be 2. Point, yes 1 right so i hope this part is clear to everyone so here comes the network 1 here comes the network 2 as well as I will assign the IP address to each and every PCs in network 1 and the IP address for network 2. So first before assigning what I will do, I will do the labeling. So here goes the labeling. So 192.168.yes 1.21. Can I use 1? 1.1? No, that would be your default gateway. So I have to use another IP address. So 1.1 1 .1 right? So this is the IP address for PC0. Here is go for PC1 which would be 1 dot yes 3 and then it goes to PC2 which is 1 dot 3. Is it clear to all of you? Now similarly I will do the labeling for 3 PCs which are in the network 2. This is network 2 right. So here it goes. So please remember here I won't be using 1 dot because 1 dot 0 is this network. Here network 2 is being identified by 2.0, right? So, here the IP address will be 2.0. This is the network IP address. So, dot 1 is the gateway. So, dot 1 is the IP address. Hoga? 2. So, here 2 for PC3. Here it would be 2.3. And here it would be 2.4. Is it clear? So all this IP address should be different. So here if you see in network 1, you can observe there are 5 different addresses. First address is network address. Second address is the gateway address and 3 addresses are being for computers. For network 2, it is differentiated by 2.0. Here network 1 is differentiated by 1.0, right? Otherwise the address is very similar. So here also 5 addresses are being used. One is for network the default and the three addresses for the computer now let's go and uh, do the configuration okay so basically what is default gateway is uh, this default gateway if you remember it was not used in the previous uh, video or we can say experiment the reason at that point of point uh, we didn't use a router right so whenever you use a router there there is a concept called as a default gateway because it is going to connect two different networks right so whenever we connect two different network, we need a default gateway. So default gateway is nothing but this address, right? This is the default gateway address basically. This line what you see, which connect a switch and the router over here, this is a default gateway IP address. Similarly, 192.168.2.1, this is a default gateway address for this line, which connect the second network, right? So I hope this point is clear to all of you. Now quickly we will do the configuration. So here I will go to the PC0, right? So whenever I go to PC0, I will be clicking desktop, IP configuration. Now over here, make an habit that first I will write down the default gateway. So if you remember what is the default gateway, you can take a reference from here. What is the default gateway for network 1? Yes, 192.168.1.1. And this default gateway IP address will remain similar for all these three PCs, right? So please remember the default gateway for one network will remain similar for this PCs. Now I will come over here. What is the IP address for this? 2. Subnet mask which will come automatically closed. Now PC1 click desktop IP configuration default gateway same rega. IP address kya hoga uska? Yes 3. You can just have a reference because we have done the labeling. So you can refer you can just do the referring and you can uh, paste over here right. Now PC2, PC2 come to desktop IP configuration, yes what is the IP address for PC2? 1.3, so here 1.3 and oh, sorry, 
first we will place a default gateway now here we have done a mistake the IP address is similar over here right so here it would be 1.4 and the same thing I will do over here in the labeling I have made a mistake it should be 1.4 right so you have to make sure that the IP addresses assigned to each and every device has to be unique okay so I hope the configuration for these computers are being done now we will quickly come over here desktop IP configuration the default gateway over here what would be the default gateway yes it would be 2.1 yes or no because we have done a labeling for this what it is it is 2.1 which you can compare right it is 2.1 and here also it is 2.1 and this 2.1 default gateway will remain same for all these three PCs which are in network 2 right so here it goes 2.1 will remain same for all the three PCs which are in the network 2 then I will assign the IP address over here which is 2. Point, yes 2 then I will go to computer next computer IP configuration I will paste default gateway 2. Point, yes 3 very good and finally to this computer IP configuration default gateway I will place which will remain same 2.4 and here it goes right still if you see the IP addresses allotment for all the computers are being done but the router part is still red right so simply look over here carefully router here you have to go for configuration here you have to put 0 slash 0 now what is 0 slash 0 which is left hand side and 0 slash 1 is right hand side if you want you can verify you can get your cursor over here just place a, a cursor you will find that it is 0 slash 0 right so 0 slash 0 is at the left hand side and if you click over here 0 slash 1 is at the right hand side yes or no so at the left hand side what is the default gateway 0, 0 slash 0 yes what is the default gateway which we have done the labeling over here you can verify 192.168.1.1 right subdate mask click on similarly over here come over here router 0 slash 1 which is at the right hand side right hand side means network 2 right hand side means network 2 and what is the default gateway for network 2 yes 192.168.2.1 and click over here on yes or no so I have done the configuration of the router also so for doing the configuration of router what you have to do you have to check at the left hand side it is 0 slash 0 right hand side it is 1 slash 0 go at the router 0 slash 0 pe click karo IP address dena or IP address kya doge default gateway of network 1 for left hand side 0 slash 1 which exists at right hand side which is network 2 which IP address will give you will give the default gateway IP address of network 2 and you have to click on right now you have to wait you cannot send the message as a list it all should turn into green if you send the message and if it's not turn green you will get a failed message and you, here you have to see the message right so here I will send the message from let's say PC 0 which is at the network 1 let's say whether the message is going to be received at PC 5 or not it is in progress it is failed at the starting it is failed because it will take some time to put right so as I told at the starting they say put a green over setup play time like that and after a time uh, it will show a successful message let's again try I will send the message from PC 0 to PC 5 here it goes it is successful right so it takes some time to build the network to understand the network so here I hope you have understood this practical which is to connect two different networks uh, mm -hmm. using a router right so here what you have to remember uh, the IP address for network 1 which is network IP address which is 1.0 the IP address for network 2 which is 2.0 right the first address is allotted for default gateway similarly over here the first address is allotted for default gateway for network 2 right and the configuration of the router so I hope this part is clear to all of you uh, thank you for listening and please practice